hello everyone today i am going to show you how to download a uh, .NET 7 sdk the process is same for .NET 6, 6 sdk as well you can uh, use the same approach uh, depending uh, on your preference you can download one of these sdks uh, and after downloading it i will install it on my system uh, and then uh, using visual studio code i will uh, run uh, i first install c sharp extension and then i will uh, run a hello world program okay so i will show you uh, the process step by step so first let's uh, go to uh, you know a search engine like i have opened google here so you uh, go to google and then uh, type this .NET SDK download and then you will get links like this uh, click on this second link you will see two options .NET 7 .NET 6 so uh, whatever uh, option you prefer you can download that uh, for the sake of this tutorial i will go with dotnet 7 and uh, i have a windows 10 operating system uh, so which is a 64 bit operating system so i will select this option which is here by default if you have a 32 bit system you can go for this sdk x86 and if you have a different arm uh, based uh, system then you can go with this option okay similarly for dotnet uh, 6 so let's click on this and now the download has started so uh, the download will be complete in few seconds once that is complete i will install that uh, on my system okay so let's go to the download page here you can see the download is download is still happening so let's give it another couple of seconds okay so the download is now complete let's double click this and Now you can see this installer window has come up now and now it is asking uh, so there is a button here uh, install button uh, let's click on this button uh, now the sdk has been installed uh, as part of this sdk you can see the dotnet runtime asp.net core runtime and .NET windows runtime all three has been installed okay so dotnet runtime is for console applications asp.net core runtime is for web based applications and dotnet windows runtime it is for uh, desktop uh, applications okay. so now all these three uh, runtimes has been installed so close this and now we can uh, go to uh, visual studio code if you have not if you don't have visual studio code then you uh, go to again uh, you know go to a search engine and then uh, download visual studio code the process is uh, simple uh, you can visual studio code and uh, like go here download link and here you will have different options go to windows and you can download uh, visual studio code like this so i'll cancel this because i already have uh, visual studio code uh, on my system so you just download it and install it okay so that will give you the latest uh, visual studio code setup so i will go now uh, to my search and uh, click on this visual studio code if we want to work with visual studio code we have to create a, a folder uh, so the folder i will uh, say uh, the name of the folder will be like hello world and then in visual studio code uh, first you need to install a c sharp extension so go to this uh, icon here on the left hand side uh, click on that and then in this uh, search bar search for c sharp so you can see this extension here so c sharp uh, by microsoft.com so install this so now the c sharp extension has been installed so the folder which we have created now we will create our project inside that folder so let's open that folder folder go to downloads here so this is my folder hello world so now this folder will be added to my workspace here so you can see that this has been added go to terminal and new terminal
so here uh, now you can see that it is already inside uh, this hello world uh, folder so so if i create something it will be created within this okay so let's uh, now type this command dot net new console okay so you have a option suppose you want to give you a name so you can use hyphen o and then uh, a project name okay so if you want let's say uh you you are creating a root folder where you have all your programs within that again you want to create some folders then you can do that uh, using this option uh so for now let's just uh, say .NET new console so you can see that a hello world.cs project has been created a program.cs file has been created now let's go to this folder here and see so you can see the same thing is appearing here okay so this this is what we are seeing within our visual studio code as well so so the project has been created successfully if you click on this project you can see that the framework is dotnet 7.0 so you can come here and you can change the framework if you have dotnet 6.0 or something then you can change this version uh, from here as well okay so now let's go to program.cs you can see that already by default uh, the console application comes up with this line of code okay so uh, what we can do is we can uh, write here some other code as well if you uh, you want to see something else in action for example uh, hello viewers also add uh, something like this so where uh, so it will wait for a user key okay so if i enter something then only it the command prompt will come up so that that can that also we can do so just for this example i think this is fine um so what we'll do now is do this uh, dot net run Now you can see hello world hello viewers and the prompt is waiting there uh, for a user action so i will now uh, uh, hit the enter key on my system and now you know uh, the prompt has now moved on again uh, back to the default uh, folder so this is how uh, you create a console application uh, using uh, .NET uh, sdk Hope you have enjoyed watching this video uh, for no more such interesting uh, videos please subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video thanks a lot for watching enjoy your day